Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 15th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to check out some really important and cool array functions. And uh, I've got a file opened up in my text editor. It's called array underscore functions. And uh, this is probably going to be a slightly long tutorial because there is a lot that I want to cover in this uh, tutorial. So on line number seven, you can see that I have created a variable called ARR and I've uh, created an array variable and I've used the array function for it and it has a uh, you know uh, numeric values only so I've got 15 10 3 19 7 62 8 5 and 12 as the values uh, stored in the variable ARR uh, now let's say you want to find out the number of elements that are there in your array or the number of values that are there you can use the count function for that and I've uh, done that on line number 8 I first uh, echoed out the text number of elements then I've concatenated using the concatenation operator uh, and uh, the value that I've concatenated is uh, you know the value that's going to be returned by the count function so to use the count function you simply type in count and then within parentheses you uh, pass in the name of a variable that is an array right so I passed in dollar ARR there uh, because that's the name of the array that I've created and uh, you can also find out the maximum value if you've got numeric values in your uh, array variable so you do that using the max uh, function and I've used it on line number 9 and it's very simple within parentheses you have to pass in the name of your array and uh, similar to max is the min function which I've used on line number 10 and this one returns the minimum value or the least value of the values that are there in your uh, array variable right so let's uh, check out the output of uh, these three functions I'll go to my browser and instead of uh, asoc underscore arrays I'll look for array underscore functions dot php when I press the enter key I see that the number of elements in the array is 9 we can count so 15 is 1 10 is 2 3 is 3 19 is 4 7 is 5 62 takes the count of 6 8 takes the count of 7 5 takes the count of 8 and 12 takes the count of 9 so right there are 9 elements in the array and the maximum value as we can see is 62 and the minimum value is uh, 3 right so that should be the output maximum value is 62 as you can see and minimum value is 3 now it is uh, probable that when you create an array you don't store your elements in uh, sequential order right I mean most of the times you get data uh, through users and uh, you know you don't know what value they're going to type until you actually see those values uh, so if suppose you have some raw data with you in an array variable and you want to sort it Right, you want to have uh, numbers in ascending order, or you want to have uh, names arranged alphabetically, or something of that sort. You can use the sort function in PHP. Right, so on line number eleven, I've used the echo uh, command to just display the text sorted with a space after the colon, and then I have used the function sort, and I haven't used it, uh, you know, as a, a concatenated value to the echo statement because you know this function makes permanent changes to your array variable so when I would use the sort function on the variable ARR it's actually going to change the sequencing of the elements in the array right so this is different from many uh, string and numeric functions that we've seen in which the changes were not made permanently but were made temporarily and we had to concatenate uh, you know the functions with the some text in the echo command uh, to see the results but the sort function makes permanent changes so if I use the print underscore r function to see, you know, the new dollar uh, arr array, then uh, this is what we see. So we see that in the sorted array, at index position zero, we have the value three. At index position one, we have the value five. At two, we have seven. And at the last index position, we have sixty-two. So the least value, which is three, has been uh, relocated to index position zero, and that was in its original position. And the highest value 62 has been relocated to the last index position which is 8 right in all you have 9 elements and uh, similar to sorted you also have the reverse sorted array which would uh, do the same thing but in the reverse order so you would have 62 as the first element at index position 0 and you would have 3 as the last element at index position 8 so you know the first one which is the sort function arranges uh, elements uh, in an increasing order and the second one which is the r sort method you know uh, this method that i have used on line number 15 
it arranges the elements in decreasing order right the next thing or the next function that i have used in this file is uh, the implode function and i've used it on line number 18 so the implode function is used to create a string from an array now i have all these numbers in here and let's say i want to build a string out of these numbers and uh, you know i want to have a hyphen between uh, you know uh, different numbers in this array right so if i want hyphen to be a separator then i'll have to uh, create a string first so i have uh, created a string variable str on line number 18 i've used the assignment operator after the variable name i've typed in the function implode and then within parentheses i first typed in the separator that i want to use which is a hyphen within uh, single quotes because the hyphen is a character and then i have put in a comma and passed in the name of the array uh, which has to supply values to this function as the second argument right and uh, when you see the output this is what you get 62 19 15 12 10 8 7 5 3 so it's picked up the values from the reverse sorted array dollar arr and it has uh, created a string out of it by using the hyphen as a separator between the different values right uh, you can also uh, create an array out of a string so let's say you have a string like i have uh, on line number 20 you know uh, the name of the string variable is vowels and uh, it has the alphabets a e i o and u and there's a space between uh, each character right so each pair of characters so you've got a space between a and e and then you've got a space between e and i and so on now let's say you want to create an array with each alphabet uh, as an element in the array now you would have to tell php to use the space character in between these two alphabets as a separator right so you would first type in explored that's the name of the function and then within single quotes or double quotes you'll have to type in the separator that you want to use so i just have a space character here because that's the separator so if suppose in this string there was a, a comma between each uh, pair of characters then you would want to use uh, the comma here instead of the space character as the first argument and the second argument has to be the string name you know the one that's going to supply all the characters and uh, since i don't want to create a separate array variable using this function i have simply you know nested this function explored uh, uh, you know uh, with the space character the first argument and dollar rolls the second argument i have nested it inside the print underscore r function to simply see the output so this is the array that we get at index position zero we have the alphabet a at one we have e at two we have i three we have o and four we have u right so the last function that we're going to check out is the in underscore array function and this function checks whether an element that's supplied as the first argument to the function is present in an array or not so you would first have to type in whatever you want to look for and the second argument has to be the array variable in which the search has to be made so let's say we want to check whether 26 is present in this array or not we'll type in in underscore array and then within a set of parentheses we'll first type in 26 and then a comma and then the second argument which is the name of the array dollar arr right and uh, similarly on line number 23 i have uh, searched for 10 in the array and uh, the sequence uh, remains the same you first have the number that you want to look for and the second argument has to be the name of the array so is 26 present in this array of course not so if the number is not present the function in underscore array does not return anything whereas if the number is present then it returns one right so let's check out the output we see that we get a blank value or nothing for the search for 26 and we get one when we search for 10 in the array right so that's about the in array function and it's again very useful you would use it uh, uh, you know for lots of different kinds of things and uh, there are a lot of other array functions which you can uh, check out at php's website uh, you know like string functions they've got a very powerful documentation for array functions too and uh, in case you have uh, doubt about any of the functions that we've discussed in this tutorial or any of the functions that you check out on the website you can leave comments and i'll uh, try to reply as soon as possible so that's it for now and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care